Searching for the Yeti Corner Six. You got it. Hi, and welcome to my search for the elusive Yeti. He roams somewhere on the upper slopes of Abderswif. I think he's somewhere between corners 6 and 4. Let's go hunting for him. I'll also be using the hand cycle to descend Abderswif, and then I'll be racing against my own holoplay ghost bot on the second ascension of Abderswif. Let's see how that goes. So the figure you can see here in the distance, that isn't the Yeti. It's just there to make you think you can see the shape of the Yeti. So there, at long last on the left, the Yeti. Now I won't say that I've been searching for the Yeti on every single ascension, far from it. Most of the time it's just a question of suffering and looking at the road ahead. So there, at long last, the Yeti, seen from the front and seen from behind. 17 times up Alpe de Zwift. I haven't been climbing Alpe de Zwift 17 times to, just to see the Yeti. Uh, I've had other projects in mind. But at long last, when I decided to keep my eyes open and look for the Yeti, there he was. So once you've made it to the top of Alpe Zwift, you go under the banner which gives you your time and the route badge if you've not climbed Alpe de Zwift before. There are two routes that lead to the top of Alpe de Zwift, so basically, even if you don't like it but you want the badges, you'll have to climb it twice. Then you go under the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a roulette wheel that gives you the possibility to win a virtual helmet, a virtual pair of gloves or the virtual Meilenstein wheels. At this point you can ride around the top of Abda Zwift and go back down. Or you can just uh, do a U-turn and head back down. It's strongly recommended that you go back down, you don't have to pedal, you get 13 kilometers of descending for free, which means 260 XP points if you're in kilometers. And about turn and then change bikes. I choose, I choose the hand cycle uh, to have a bit of fun for the descent. It's actually quite amusing to watch.
So for the last part of this video, I wanted to test myself against the Hollow Replay um, Pacebot. The Hollow Replay uh, Pacebot basically is recorded when you go over a segment or a route on a free ride, and you can have two Pacebots. One is your personal best time, and the other one is the last time you rode up. And there are a few more settings and details you have in that if you've got uh, the latest version of uh, the Zwift interface. But that's all we're looking at today, testing myself against the pace bot. Now since I'd ridden up up the Zwift once, I wasn't really feeling like riding up twice uh, in a row all the way up. So I figured I would just follow or ride with the pace bot uh, for a few corners and see how far I'd get. And what actually happened was I ended up racing the pace bot and riding all the way up to the top of Abda Zwift. So there you are, there's a pretty useful thing about the pace bot, it does motivate you, not only if you want to ride faster, but you can see with the, the time gap uh, just how far ahead you are, and even on some of the corners you can actually see the beam of light going down to the pace bot so you can see where he or she is.